Well, everyone knows how important nurses are when we get sick, but COVID and difficult working conditions caused many to leave their jobs. It's left a vacuum filled by private nurses in the public sector. Today, we learn just how much it's cost to address shortages, more than $1.5 billion. CTV's Judy Trinnow. Judy takes a closer look at the massive hemorrhaging of public funds. Sandy, reliance on private nursing agencies has skyrocketed, and for the most part, the spending has gone unchecked because there hasn't been hard data until now. Since the COVID pandemic, hospitals to long-term care centers have been relying more on private agencies to deal with the nursing shortfall. In 2020, public health care facilities were spending about $250 million annually on private nurses. That grew during the pandemic and kept ballooning to an estimated $1.5 billion this year, a 600% increase, making the quick staffing fix unsustainable. Every morning, every shift, there's a nurse manager somewhere that has to fill a shift and there, there's no one to call. So it's a lot easier for them to call the 1-800 number and get an agency nurse to come, uh, regardless of the price, regardless of their experience, or if they know the facility. According to Statistics Canada, on any given day, there are more than 43,000 nursing jobs that need to be filled. The study's author, a former nurse turned professor, says money needs to be put into recruiting nurses and improving their working conditions. Imagine what we would be doing with $1.5 billion. You know, what strategies could have been put in place for retention of nurses? What, what quality of care could have been provided? The average wage for a nurse in Canada is about $65 an hour. Private agency fees are about the same in Manitoba, but in Ontario, agencies can charge $195 an hour, and in Newfoundland Labrador, a whopping $312 an hour. There are more than 470 private nursing agencies in Canada. The exorbitant fees surprise companies that are trying to act responsibly. That greed um, is not within the, the overall mission of trying to provide the best care for everybody. Advocates are calling for the gradual phase out of these private nursing agencies, but until that happens, they want limits put on what they can charge. Sandy. All right, Judy, thank you.